my mind, I started uh, writing this little piano melody, sure. and then um, I started writing the the vocal. Or I started writing the song and, uh, with the words and the lyrics at the same time. But then sometimes I find myself like catering the melody to the words that I've written, and sometimes I work it in the opposite direction, where it's like I try to find the words that work within the rhythm and the melody. So. I feel like there there isn't exactly a process, but for me, going into the sessions, the difficulty actually wound up being coming up with concepts, because um, you know by by doing like twenty sessions in a row, like what else is there to write about? I mean, I've already spelled out all the drama in my life. <laughs> um, although actually, most of the songs on this album are not about my life. Okay, I was, to be ask that. I was gonna ask that. I was gonna ask that. I just. I wanted to focus more on writing good songs than writing songs that were my own experience. And um, to me, it's like telling a good story. You can <coughs> have that relate to your life in some way, and it can relate to other people. And I, sometimes I find songs that I've already written coming back and relating to my life afterwards, which is kind of interesting. But um, it's kind of different for each thing. Oftentimes, you know, you just start playing something, and I would write maybe like a stanza which is like a, a, a phrase of, of, of lyrics, so a few lines, and, and then I'd be like, hmm, okay, so what does that mean? Like, oh, like, what am I saying? It's like you go through the subconscious, and you write that out, and then next you try and figure out how, to, how it fits in. So um, Evan, who worked with Eman and I, was really great with coming up with concepts. So um, like for, for Hurricane, which is another song you're going to hear, not next, oh, okay. after this <laughs> after. next one, um, I, I started writing something. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, Jimmy's a trooper. Uh, I started writing something, and then he's like, okay, so what if that symbolizes that, and then that works with that? And he would come up with all these kind of cool scenarios, which make a huge difference. Because if you're just writing about, like, baby, come back to me, I miss you, like, all over and over again, it just gets so boring. Totally. I mean, you guys want fresh topics, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. Am I guessing? Yeah. So um, that was cool. And then I, once we had that kind of idea, then I just go for it on the lyrics. And cool. And what are, we gonna listen, what are we gonna listen to next? Yes, okay. So um, this next song is called Blonde. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you blondes, you two ladies. Uh, are you a blonde? That's kind of like my natural color and I never know what to call it. <laughs> I don't know. Did you used to be blonde? <laughs> yeah. Be yeah. Yeah, it kind of... Yeah, like so <laughs> you can... You can understand the blonde perspective, of course. I, I, I call myself a blonde because I fake it now, but... You know, <laughs> it, it was real once, but um, yeah. So it's it's kind of like a blonde, a, an anthem to the blondes, explaining how they can have more fun and work the fact that they are sometimes categorized as dumb. Mm -hmm. So um, there's that, and uh, for you brunettes out there, it's also a, and redheads. <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a fun song. So um, the idea is also to just have a have a good time. Mm -hmm. So that's how I say it relates to everybody.